Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. If you've ever had a horn that won't honk, an AC system that doesn't blow cold, or a fan that just won't turn on, a bad relay could be the problem. In this video, I'll show you four different ways to test a relay and get your electrical system working again. I'll also dive into the most important question. Why are relays used in automobiles in the first place? First up, it's a simple no tools needed test that you can do in a pinch. It's not a factory approved method, but it's perfect for quickly diagnosing an issue and getting you back on the road. Let's get started. So with this method, you'll need a nine volt battery. You just want to locate 86 and 85, and then you'll take your nine volt battery and you want to put one tab on that one, the other tab on that one. You can hear it click, which says the contacts are closing. Now, not the most preferred method, but in a pinch, this works. A relay acts as the middleman. It allows a low power circuit to safely switch a high power circuit on or off. This is why you can have a simple switch on your dashboard that controls high amperage devices like your horn, AC compressor, and your cooling fan. Imagine your dashboard cluttered with thick, bulky wires. By using relays, high current wires can be kept short and positioned close to the battery, while the small, low current wires, they can be used to control the relay. This setup allows the relay to manage the high current circuit making your electrical system cleaner, more efficient, and safer. This is my horn relay. And if you look inside the socket, there's gonna be four pins. Two will have fused power. One's gonna power up the coil inside this relay. And the other one's gonna sit on pin 30, waiting to get switched to pin 87. Once it does, it'll power up the component, which in this case is my horn. The horn pad in this circuit is my switch and it supplies the ground to activate the coil. Let's dive deeper into the relay. So here's a typical relay. I pulled this relay apart so you can kind of see how it works. And this one has a little diagram on there. And if you look at, it says number 30 here. So that's almost always coming from the battery. And then number 87, number 30 will switch to 87 when this coil is energized. So battery power will start here and then it'll switch over to here when this coil gets energized. And how the coil gets energized is number 86 here is gonna have fused power. And then on our case, the horn, whenever you push the horn pad, it'll ground 85. So when that grounds, the coil energizes and then it switches battery power from 30 to 87 and sounds that horn. If you have another relay nearby, you can just swap those out. But a lot of times some of these relays are special, so you can't do that. So let me show you how to actually test the relay. Today's video is not sponsored by anybody and the tools that I'm gonna use coming up in this video, I will put them in the description in case you wanna purchase them. If you use my Amazon link, it does help support my channel. And speaking of supporting my channel, if you subscribe, I would appreciate it. Let's get back to the video. One check you can do is you need to measure the resistance on the coils. So that would be pin 85 and 86. So put your meter on the ohm scale, and then you're gonna find 85, which is this one, and then 86, which is this one, and it should be between 50 and 120 ohms. I have 82 ohms here, so my coils are good. Um, what you're looking for here is either an open or a short. And I don't have either of those, so let's go on to our next test. So for the next test, I need to power up that relay. So I'm gonna use the Anova 5420 for that. And I'm gonna use the small tip, not the big tip. Um, by the way, it does come with the small tip and the larger tip. So this is a perfect example 
of when you would need that smaller tip. So now I'm going to come over here to my relay and instead of doing the 85 and 86 on the ohms or resistance scale, I'm going to do the other two 87 and 30 and those are just the opposite two of what I had before and now it says OL um, which means it's open and then I'll take the ground lead on the ANOVA and then I'll power up the other lead right here and I should see my meter Yep, I should see my meter switch from OL to continuity. And I do. So this relay is good. It tests out good. And if you had like an intermittent relay, you would just keep on doing it to see if it fails at any point. So that's how you check a relay. This tool is also a relay tester. It's like the ANOVA that I just showed you. It'll power up components, but it's also got, it's got an oscilloscope and a relay tester. When you use the relay tester, you'll hook up this wire on the side. And then here's my relay right here. I've got it all hooked up, ready to go. And if you need to know how to hook it up, we have a manual right here. And then also, if you click here, it'll show you the relay and then how to hook it up for a 5-pin and a 4-pin. So the 4-pin, you're going to just leave this yellow wire or green lead unhooked. So let's go back and then you push the up button to turn the relay on and if you put your hand on it you should feel it click so that's how the relay tester works if you got something out of today's video give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing today's video was not sponsored in any way but i will put the links to the products and the video reviews I did on them in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.